one donut. Those look amazingly delicious, and and you don't even get any, cause cause your husband ate them all. Just, no, but didn't eat them all. Took a bite out of each one of them. That's messed up. That's sacrilegious, is what that is. Are those like maple walnut too? Oh my god, I love maple Quack. donuts. Oh my god, Quack. me up. I hate that. I hate that. I'm getting anxiety just looking at those. Quack. Day. I don't even know what of quarantine, and I have resorted to giving myself brow lamination. <laughs> it looks okay though, like I feel like I did a decent job. I do not recommend doing this yourself. This is something that you're supposed to go to professionals for, but seeing as I'm not allowed to see a professional, <laughs> I've been staring at myself in the mirror for too long. Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking at some roommates from hell. From literal hell. I've had a roommates that, uh, may or may not have been the spawn of Satan. <laughs> no, they weren't the spawn of Satan. I am also the spawn of Satan, so I know another spawn of Satan when I see one. Point is, is you're living in close quarters with another person. Things can get ugly, you know? Friends who were once friends are no longer friends because they live together. And uh, people who otherwise would be friends, uh, you know, like, uh, can't be because, I, like, I've seen you at your worst. <laughs> Tell me your awful roommate stories down below in the comments. And you know what, also tell me some good roommate stories because I've had some great roommates as well. Really awesome. Like I miss kind of having someone here to like just talk about my day with. That was one of the best parts about having a roommate. Just being able to like chat about your day and you know, have those like little roomie nights where you just drink some wine and watch some TV. Those were a lot of fun. So I miss a roommate for that reason. Is my mouse gonna work today? Let's find out. This is what you get for buying things online. Where else am I supposed to buy right now though, realistically? Thesis due in a few days and I don't need this extra stress of people stealing my stuff from the communal fridge. Who stole my energy drinks? I want them to be replaced, thief. <laughs> oh, and we got a response. I threw them out because they are not good for you. Learn to manage your sleep cycle and you will be much healthier and happier. I mean, is it really your place to say what I should and shouldn't do? Like, I understand that you're trying to, like, it's none of your business. Like, I get it, but mind your business. Do you guys hear my stomach right now? Did you, did you hear that? Should I, like, put the mic on it? I'm gonna growl now. Ugh. Can anyone growl their stomach on command? <laughs> growl. Growl for me. <laughs> no. Ain't gonna happen. The way my dad puts things away in the fridge, this is a piece of steak. That's a very sad looking piece of steak. That's probably not going to be edible. <laughs> don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Like put it in plastic wrap. Look, at, there's a piece of brie that's in some plastic wrap. Come on, man. You know this person doesn't clean his fridge either. Oh my God, someone took a, someone took a bite out of this butter. That is so weird. Ew, ew, why are you biting butter? You butter biter. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nice little midnight snack, taking a chomp out of a stick of butter. Is it salted at least? <laughs> like, ew. Did you just like not have a knife? Like, what's that about? <laughs> I don't get it. My husband bought memory foam for his side of the bed. See, I've never lived with like with a boyfriend or another, like a man. I've lived with a man. I've lived with a couple of men, but they weren't boyfriends. They were just roommates. I've never lived with like a, like a significant other. And it's this kind of sh that like would ruin our relationship. Do you see how small that sliver of a bed she gets to sleep on? Do you see his side? Are you guys somebody who takes up a huge chunk of the bed when you sleep or is your significant other the person that takes it up? I'm usually the one that's like in the, it's, it's my bed too. I'm usually the one that's like on the corner, like on the side and like the dude is just like sprawled out. Mm. Like really, like just go over there. That's why I'm single. I like to starfish. You're in my personal space. <laughs> my wife putting this peanut butter in the trash because it's empty. That is perfectly good peanut butter. What is it with like, with with, pe with the peanut butter? There's always like, there's always something about the peanut butter. <laughs> a long time ago, when I first started this channel, I did this like skit about how I had this roommate who would eat all my peanut butter constantly. She would just, I'd come home and there would be no peanut butter. 
And I'd be like, dude, why are you just have like a spoon? Why do you need to eat the whole thing? Like, just chill, <laughs> chill, chill out. And you would, she wouldn't replace it either, which was like the annoying thing. So she didn't want to replace it because she didn't want any peanut butter in the house. So, but I'm sorry, just cause you don't want any peanut butter in the house doesn't mean that I can't like this. I need, I like peanut butter. So I'm going to buy peanut butter. And every time I did, she would eat it. Insanity. She gained a lot of weight too. It was like, you eat several jars of peanut butter in like a week and you will gain weight. Just FYI. When your housemate uses the living room as his bedroom. Oh, oh no. It always sucks when you're living with somebody who hasn't like grown up yet. You know, like you reach a point where you're like, okay, I'm gonna stop living like a filthy animal <laughs> and I'm gonna clean up after myself. But it sucks when you're living with a person who hasn't gotten there yet, you know? I'm just letting you know, if a girl comes over and sees this is where you live, she will run far, far away as fast as she can and vice versa. My husband is technologically challenged. Really? Did you have to do that? Here, okay. In defense of the husband, all right? I'm gonna defend the husband right now. In defense of the husband, maybe he didn't see the lid. You know, maybe he didn't see it. Maybe it was turned around and he didn't see it. But like realistically, most juice has one of those nowadays, so. It's always so cold in our house. Our furnace sucks. Wife, January 2020. <laughs> well, I mean, Step one, don't cover the vents. I think that might improve your experience exponentially. <laughs> the way my girlfriend puts away the groceries still in the bag. Shameful, shameful. You guys have so many snacks. Look at all those snacks. Dang, can I have some? I spy a Dorito and an Oreo. So many snacks. Wife doesn't pay any attention to what we already have when buying groceries. All right, I also do this. <laughs> yeah. So you know how you, I do this so much, like I just, I'll just rebuy everything. So you have to make lists. I do have like several Colgate tubes, like several soy sauce tubes. Tubes? <laughs> soy sauce doesn't come in a tube, Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make some, some lists. You know why though? It's cause she wants to like cook things and she like looks at the recipe and she's shopping and she's like, okay, we need this. And I don't know if I have any cinnamon, so I'm just gonna buy another one. That's what happened. My mom eats the chocolate and puts it back in the freezer like that. Horrible. Well, do you plan to eat the rest of it? <laughs> it's so weird. She just, she's got a little, little craving, you know? Can you open the front door? Can you open the front door? Can you open the garage? Can you open the front door? Can you open the front door? Leave it unlocked. How about you bring your own key for once? Yes, there's a solution. Or you could hide your key, do a little hide a key kind of situation. Don't just expect everybody to do everything for you. What do you think this is? I married the person who does this. <gasps> Terrible, terrible. <laughs> not only does he not take the roll, the empty roll off, but he just places a new roll incorrectly. <laughs> Disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. How my wife loads the dishwasher. Bro, bro. Nothing's gonna get clean. You're just gonna have to wash all that crap by hand. The more you put in the dishwasher, the more times you're gonna have to run it. <laughs> The way my family leaves the toothpaste. <gasps> I hate so much in it. It's disgusting. <laughs> See, this is why I bought a place with two bathrooms because I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> don't go anywhere near my toothpaste. <laughs> you have your own over there. <laughs> my roommate has difficulties in finding the right hole. <laughs> ah, yes, I can see that. <laughs> Why though? Like why? How hard is it? This is someone who's lived with like a mother that took care of them their whole life, you know? But that's also not an excuse. Cause I had a mother that took care of me my whole life and cleaned up after me, but she'd yell at me <laughs> to do it also. Eventually you do have to grow up and, and stop doing stuff like this. My wife ate every single marshmallow in a family sized box of Count Chocula. Every single one. Good. 
She woke up this morning and chose violence. I used to do that too, but it was Lucky Charms for me. I did all the marshmallows and the Lucky Charms. Don't lie to me. You know you've done it. I know you're lying. I know I can't see you, but I know you're lying. This is how my mom puts the knives away in the drying rack. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. I'm worried for you. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, I tend to do that as well, though, too, because, I mean, depends on how clean your drying rack is. That's the part where you slice things, right? I don't think that's entirely wrong, mostly because I also do that. But I'm also the only person that lives here, so. <laughs> Less than two days after moving in, one of my roommates scratched my new nonstick pan with metal utensils. Right to jail, right away. You know that's like cancer, right? You can get cancer from that. You want me to get cancer? No? Then use, like, the friggin' spatula with the rubber end. Don't use the fork. I feel for you. Nice ones, nice pans like that are super expensive. And basically you just have to throw this out now because unless you want cancer. My husband doesn't want the case to get scratched and cause an eyesore. So, so what's that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be, like, not an eyesore? Looks pretty eyesore-y to me. <laughs> I live with monsters. Stop. Stop it. No. Move out. Move out right now. This is, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Stop it. Look at the pile. Like just this massive pile. <laughs> how hard is it? Like I don't, like how hard is it? Do you, do you not take pride in your surroundings? Live with a girl, they said. Things will be clean, they said. No, they won't. That, no. It's not like messiness knows no gender. In fact, girls can be even grosser because we're always straightening our hair and the hair gets everywhere. I borrowed a couch from like a family friend in university and I gave it back to him and he said that he still finds like long red hair in it like 10 years after I gave him his couch back. Hair everywhere, makeup everywhere. Unless you're religiously cleaning your bathroom like once a week, it's gonna be disgusting if you live with a girl. I'm just saying. Girls are usually a lot grosser than men. No, but the men, the men tend to leave like the shavings, you know, like they shave their face and then they just leave all the hair everywhere. Like that's, that's also friggin' gross, all right? People are just gross. We're gross. This, hey, hey, look at this. <laughs> Literal the next screenshot. This is how my boyfriend leaves the sink after he shaves. You see? And that clogs the sink too, eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm Canadian. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Disgusting. What do you do though? Like, I feel like you gotta leave the sink running and like wash it down little by little. Or you could shave in the shower. There you go. That's a way to kind of get around it, right? All right, we got time for one more. One more screenshot. And I really like this video, so I wanted this more, but I want to do another one, so we're gonna cut it off. That's all you get. What do you think this is? Free Charlotte hour? No, no. I went to the fridge to get milk for my cereal, but someone put the milk back with this much. This, my friends, this right here, this is why I live alone. <laughs> All right, guys, those are some roommates from literal hell. Like, not figuratively hell, but literal hell. All right? The spawn of Satan. Cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And thanks for making it all the way until the end. If you made it to the end, can we do... What, should, what emoji should we do today? Put a teapot emoji if you made it all the way until the end. Subscribe!